Tina. I'll talk to her. Okay. Would you like to talk with Tina? Moment, moment. <laughs> my, my name is Georg Petersau, I originally come from Vienna, Austria, and uh, I emigrated with Bettina and Lena, our daughter, 36 years ago. And Ireland was a very different place at that time. Um, yeah, professionally, I'm, I worked as an architect. And, <clears throat> uh, and I, uh, we schooled our children at home. And the Linen Hall supported uh, Kito, our son. Uh, he gave, he, they gave him a camera and he took part in film competitions. And it was such an amazing support. As I was supported years later when I published my book, uh, that I could uh, launch it here in the Linen Hall, uh, which was very generous. My name is Bettina, and uh, together with Georg, we emigrated, as he said, 36 years ago. And I think Georg said everything, like Ireland was a different country at the time, 1984 that was. And the Linen Hall, as far as I can remember, only came a good bit after that. But Mari Farrell was on the, on the mall. And I don't really recall, I don't really recall what happened or how it was when this opened. I remember, I remember the, it was still the old ho hall, the hall itself was still the old linen hall and it has so much changed ever since like life around us in general. And yeah, somehow the linen hall was of always a social, it was always a social event to go to the linen hall once it existed. And for me, quite a few things happened here. So I, yes, I obviously remember Kito and Cass who walked here at the time, gave Kito a mobile phone and and he was 13 or so. And I, I remember the shock of Kito having a mobile, it just, the mobile phone hadn't existed for so long. And I remember when I said to Cass, yeah, but are you sure? And she said, Bettina, the hippie times are over. And <laughs> that's one sentence I remember. And, and the, yeah, the amazing support he, he got. Uh, in, the, in the beginning, when the linen hall was still on the mall, in, in this little church, we, we, bought a, we bought a chair there. And this was our first contact with, the, with Marie Farrell uh, before she moved to the linen hall. Uh, so for me, the linen hall was all those years a beacon of light in regard to culture in an otherwise rather uh, straightforward business town. Yeah, and that was, that was very, very, very supportive and helpful for us. Uh, for instance, in the first couple of years where we didn't have, have a home of ourselves, where we lived in a caravan and built our own home. And later I began to offer writing workshops and because I always loved writing myself. And the Linen Hall, I, I approached the Linen Hall about a memoir writing workshop. And it actually took place and they took me in. I loved them because they taught me things about people in County Mayo in an island I'd never heard before and I would never hear in private conversations or so. So it was very moving, it was very touching. I have that in, in very fond memory. 
And I did that, I think, twice or three times. So the linen hall offered me a space to do this at the time, for which I was very grateful before I went out into the community and offered it elsewhere. Another very personal thing the linen hall offered and which helped me a lot in my life was singing workshops with Anne Gibbons from Lewisburg. And it was many people liked doing it and everybody came because they were shy of singing uh, party piece or something and I was very shy of singing and it helped me a lot to begin to sing a song of my own and I find that since much less difficult and the whole singing group evolved from this that met every month and it was just a very beautiful thing. Another personal experience I remember was a show I saw here and I think it was I've seen many shows and been to many films, but that stuck out because it was called My Irish Heart, My English Tongue, or My English Tongue, My Irish Heart, whichever way around. It's a few years ago and it was very, very well done and very moving around the story between Ireland and England and it reminded me of my own story coming here and having emigrated to Ireland in my own life and my own difficulties and, and that they also that they're also the same, that there is no Irish story or English story or German story, that these stories of people who emigrate are really all the same. And again, it was a very lively show, very lively discussions. There's one other thing I remember um, and it was we took part in a drumming workshop and it inspired us to uh, set up our own drumming group. And so in this way, uh, Linen Hall was inspiring in many different ways. Yeah. Uh, great gratitude for that. Yeah. I have that in such fond memory because, oh, I was to look at you. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> He's staring this way. <laughs> it's very funny, I love that. I wish I could put that in, I have to say. But, uh, I, I suddenly realized this yeah. is not what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. I found it very comforting, it's like an empty space. Yeah. There's Most no response from... Oh, cause, yeah. <laughs>